we mentioned Newcastle West and for me they're, they're the standout game of the weekend a Munster senior football final against Cairns Rallies first one in 14 years for a Limerick club um Newcastle went back to back in Limerick for the first time um just a couple of months ago did it the hard way against Monline and against Adair at the last minute and then an extra time but did it the hard way against Clanmel as well but in truth, they were the better team over the course of 80 minutes in Simple Stadium. Really showed that towards the end, pulled away. They're playing a Kerry team, which has been the ultimate bogey for Limerick football in any measure. Like Fossa were comp- comprehensive winners over Castleman a few weeks ago. Kerry beat Limerick in the Munster final um, in May. You know, the Pearson will face Kerry opposition as well, and we'll, we'll get to that. But in terms of Newcastle, you know, you'd have to be confident in them. And in their ability, not only down to the fact of how they beat Conmel, but the fact they've gone back to back and they're just so laden with top quality players and winners. Yeah, of course they they they, they once have seen a football final and um, um, Fossa and Castlemahan will have absolutely no bearing on 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 um, Saturday evening. Thank God, Jack. And um, you 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 were at the press evening the same as myself. Um, Newcastle West press evening earlier in the week, and like there was an there was an air of relaxed confidence. I thought about it, Jack. Um, yeah, you know there 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 is there there is a certain level of confidence in the team. But you look, Jack. Um, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't they be confident? And um, I I think that they're um, this year. Um, uh, right from the get go, I, I I think they have been the outstanding team in Limerick. Like last year when they won the 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 the, the, um, uh, the, the Limerick Senior Football Championship, there there were a couple of valleys. There were a couple of poor performance. As there was a couple of uh, questionable performances where you'd raise questions about them. Jack, that was all gone this year. That was all gone this year. It 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 it, it is a totally different um, focus and a different approach by Newcastle and look they, they have the records they have the record um for the year to show for it like um through um the, the Limerick championship group stage unbeaten beat Monolene and beat Adair in, in 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 the concluding stages which to me were phenomenal games for them in terms of preparation pre- preparing a team um for greater challenges down the road I don't think that uh, you know these, these were two excellent challenges, um, like um, Mona Lean really put it up to him. Like they 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 only clinched it when Dermot Kelly got what a sixty first minute goal. Um, yes, no, they were ahead at that stage, but they, they were really only out of the woods when when that goal went in. And then you had um, then you had the, the county final, where um, the the hockey had to come up um in in the closing stages and. Ducks point right, um, right from the from the feet, but um, it was a learning process, and it 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 it, it was stealing their resolve all the time, Jack. And um, um, those type of tests, I think, stood them in very good stead when they went to play commercials in in um, in in Tarlis. and um, particularly when the game went to extra time, because I think in that extra time period, Jack, there was only going to be one winner. They had the resolve, they had the fitness, and um, they went and they got the scores. I, I've been saying all the year, Jack, that the attacking potential in this uh, is in this Newcastle West team is excellent. They, they, you know, when they attack a team, you know, they can be very, very, very serious performers. Yeah, definitely. They have some really top class um, forwards in their ranks. I think the way. They were able to leave Dermot on the bench for the majority of the campaign, and they're obviously without AJ and Jamie Lee is abroad. And you know, you just, these players come through the likes of Emma Richter and Todd Donovan and Ruan mm-hmm. O'Connor and Owen Hurley stepping up to the plate and Shane Stack as well. They've, there's so many options, and you know, and you have someone like Mike Mack then as well, who you know, you can go route one with Mike, you can put him into midfield, you can do a lot of things mm-hmm. with him. Keen Sheehan mm-hmm. and Ian Corbett around the midfield, you know, they're a really, really comprehensive team. There's no weakness in them um but at the end of the day they are playing carry opposition you know karen's rattles yeah. have david Morn, um jack savage is back um they've more barry john Keane, 
Tommy Walsh, Carmel Tommy Coffey. Walsh. You know, Kerry have been the bogey team for Limerick in all facets of football. And, you know, these things have to end eventually. And it, it seems like this weekend, there, there's something about it that you, you feel Newcastle have a really good chance to end that barren run for Limerick. Yeah, that that that's the sense. That's the sense, and that 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 I got on Monday evening as well, Jack. About um, uh, the, you know, that the, the, there's, I I don't know. This year, that there is a confidence in Newcastle West that is not misplaced. It's it's for a very very good reason. But I suppose um, sometimes we mix up confidence and belief. But there's a new belief there, Jack, that they can do this. And like we 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 we've seen them, you know. If if Newcastle West are in this game with ten minutes to go, Jack, I would back them all all the way. Because if you if you see as as I already outlined against Mona Lean, really down to the wire against Adair, had the game lost until Doc came up and kicked the point. You know, for were forced to extra time in the semi final, and you must remember. <clears throat> in both cases where they went to extra time, there was really only going to be one winner. Yeah, I think yeah. that was the most... It, um... it, it, it'll tell you about the, the resilience they have and the belief that they have, the level of preparation that they have endured and the level of fitness, Jack. I think they're thinking... I think they think an awful lot of boxes. I think Jimmy Lee, um, Stephen Kelly, their coach... Um, Liam Keane, Martin O'Sullivan, their management team, they've, they've done an excellent job um, in, 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 in the preparation of this team. This is as well a prepared team as will leave Limerick for a Munster final in a long, long time, Jack. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I would have said Newcastle were the best team in Limerick for a good number of years now, and they, they had a bad day in them in the past, but I think they've kind of rectified all that. And as I said, there just seems to be something different about this weekend. Cairns rallies weren't the Kerry County champions. They would won the club championship, which you know is, is no mean feat, but they were they were knocked out in the, the Kerry County Championship, which bodes well again for Newcastle. But they beat Aero Guinness with 14 men for the most of it. And that man they were without was David Moore. And so, you know, they they were equally impressive in their semi-final. So it should make for an interesting game. Yeah, um, they, 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 they were really put to the pin of that collar in the Kerry club final by Temple. No, they only won it by 15 points to 14. Yeah. But then, like, you you you, you have um, you, you, Temple No would be would be um, would be um, powered by the Spillane clan, of course. And, of course, that that, that wonderful footballer who got an, an overdue all-star this year, Tyke Morley, Morley um, yeah. yeah, would be a huge player for them. So, um, like I suppose it was no mean feat to get over Temple North. No, and any any Kerry team you're going to play in any grade, they're going to be mm -hmm. formidable. You know the Kerry mm -hmm. club championships are notoriously difficult to win, and you know Limerick. Neither of us can recall the last time a Limerick team beat a Kerry team in any sort of mm -hmm. competition. So that's what's up against Newcastle, but. For me, I, I think Newcastle can win it. I don't know what I call it. I just, just haven't seen Austin Stacks last year. I, I know how good the Kerry teams can be. Um, and I've seen Newcastle close. I know how good Newcastle were last year. Mm -hmm. And Austin Stacks, you know, just destroyed them really. But mm -hmm. if I was to call it, I would edge slightly for Newcastle, which is, is strange when, when you have a Limerick team against the Kerry team. How would you... If you were to call it, I'm going to say I'm going I'm going the same way with you. And I know that when Kerry teams, when there's a bit of silverware up in the stand, the fire it puts into their belly, and um, the spark that it ignites within them. Um, but I, I have this feeling about Newcastle West and them. Um, I, 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 I'm feeling that this is their destiny. And um, like they, 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 there's a number of hurdles that they, that this this particular team have surmounted. Um, and uh, of course. Um, Winning back to backs was one, and uh, the second was winning a semi final and getting through to a monster final for the first time in what 35 years. Um, so I, I think there's something special about this Newcastle West team, and I'm I'm leaning towards them, Jack. Yeah, I'd, I'd be going that way as well. Um, obviously neither team has won a monster before, so someone's all has got to go, and hopefully, 
it'll be Limerick and it would go some bit towards making up for that Munster final um loss in the in the Intercounty Championship back in May. But the best of luck to, to Newcastle, all the players and managers, that sure to be a large Newcastle contingent in Parky Rin on Saturday night under nights. It it promised to be um a very enjoyable occasion and hopefully it'll be the Limerick team coming out on top.